30 early fall outfits from my fall capsule wardrobe. Let's do this. Hi, this is Gloria, the narrator. For the first outfit, I'm going to start with my pajamas, <clears throat> a beautiful white silk slip dress, and pair it with an oversized black blazer. I think this is a perfect mix of masculine and feminine. Alternatively, I can also wear this dress with a cozy long black cardigan. The best part is, I can go out and lounge in this outfit. You know, I need to make sure I look presentable when I go downstairs to pick up my food delivery. I can also wear this dress with a white cardigan. But to spice it up a bit, I'm styling this with a pair of brown croc leather sling bags and a matching leather bag. And there you go! Now I have the color palette of a cinnamon roll. For the next few looks, I'll be using the same white pussy bow silk blouse. And for this one, I'm wearing it with a camel suede mini skirt, a leather blazer, a pair of pony hair leather boots, and a black beret. I said I was going to dress more casual, and this is what I came up with. For this look, I'm wearing the blouse with a pair of black white leg pants, a houndstooth blazer, and a black bucket hat. I'll have to admit, I stole this outfit from one of my previous videos, but why the hell not? And for this one, I'm wearing the blouse with this white tweed jacket and mini skirt set, and I'm accessorizing with a black bucket hat. In case you haven't noticed, I'm just casually impersonating Coco Chanel here. For this look, I'm wearing the blouse underneath a long black cardigan, and I'm also accessorizing with a black bucket hat. I don't know, but I'm still getting some Coco Chanel vibe here. Maybe I should consider becoming an impersonator. For the next few looks, I'll be using this basic white top. And for this one, I'm wearing it with a pair of blue jeans and an oversized black blazer. This is such a classic combination. And by the way, I am now impersonating Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. A white top also looks great with a pair of black flare jeans and a houndstooth blazer. And I'm accessorizing with a black newsboy cap. Now I kind of look like one of those fashion girls who love taking Instagram photos in Soho. For this look, I'm wearing the white top underneath a long black cardigan, and I'm accessorizing with a black bucket hat and a pair of black loafers. And now I'm turning into some kind of hardcore minimalist who is also a vegan. I can also wear this white top with a pair of slim fit black pants and a cozy white cardigan. This is more of a relaxed look, like when I'm not impersonating anyone. It's probably more realistic for these pandemic days anyway. For the next few outfits, I'm going to be using this white shirt. And for this one, I'm wearing it with a pair of black white leg pants, an oversized black blazer, and a black bucket hat. Although, I kind of look like Charlie Chaplin now, damn it. A white shirt also looks good underneath a long black cardigan, and I'm pairing it with a pair of black loafers and a little black beret. A 
Aside from the fact that I'm not wearing any pants, I think I could pass as a real artist. For this one, I'm wearing the white shirt with a pair of blue jeans and a simple beige trench coat. This look is pretty basic, but I like the nonchalance. Like, I'm not even trying to look cool, but I still look cool, you know what I mean? For this look, I'm wearing the white shirt with a pair of houndstooth pants and a white trench coat. But is it just me, or do you also think I kind of look like a doctor who just got off work? For the early fall, I can still get away with wearing this white turtleneck cashmere sweater on its own. For this look, I'm wearing it with a camel suede mini skirt and a pair of black over-the-knee boots. Now, I look like the kind of girl who is overly enthusiastic about fall. For this look, I'm wearing the sweater with a pair of black wide leg pants and a little black beret. And now, I look like the kind of girl who seems to have a misunderstanding about Parisian style but somehow still manages to look chic. For the next few looks, I'll be using a champagne silk shirt. Here, I'm wearing it with a pair of black white leg pants, a white tweed jacket, and a newsboy cap. I feel like this look would be perfect if you are Miranda Priestley's assistant. For this look, I'm styling the shirt with a camel suede mini skirt and a white cardigan. And I'm accessorizing with a black newsboy cap and a pair of black over-the-knee boots. Now, the only thing I'm missing is a pumpkin spice latte. Alternatively, I can also wear this shirt with a pair of white white leg pants and a white trench coat. It's super easy to throw together because I'm just wearing it with all the white items. Duh! For the next couple of looks, I'm going to be using this camel turtleneck cashmere sweater. For this one, I'm wearing it with a white tweed mini skirt, a pair of black over-the-knee boots, and a black bucket hat. This is so not me, but whatever. And for this one, I'm wearing this sweater with a pair of slim fit black pants and a long wool cardigan. This outfit is probably even a bit warm for early fall to be honest, but better warm than sorry. For the next few looks, I'll be using a basic black top. For this one, I'm wearing it with a pair of blue jeans and a black oversized blazer. And with a pair of aviator sunglasses on my head, now I can pretend to be a supermodel off-duty. For this look, I'm styling the black top with a pair of slim fit black pants and a white trench coat. I'm really starting to think this white trench coat looks like a doctor's coat and now I cannot unsee it. For this one, I'm styling the black top with a pair of black flare jeans and a leather blazer. I honestly don't know what I'm trying to do with this one. Maybe a failed attempt to dress like Trinity in the Matrix? I can also wear this black top with a pair of houndstooth pants and a beige trench coat. I'm just trying to be fall appropriate here, you know, beige and brown, all the fall colors. 
I'm sorry, my brain is not functioning anymore at this point. Okay, I'm slipping back to my black and white. For this outfit, I'm wearing my beloved black turtleneck cashmere sweater with a pair of white white leg pants. You know, gotta wear these pants while I still can. For this one, I'm wearing the sweater with a pair of blue jeans. This is my classic Steve Jobs outfit but a more modern version. Instead of glasses, I'm wearing sunglasses. You know, kind of like an iPhone upgrade. And let's not forget about this long black cardigan. I can actually wear it as a dress. Here, I'm just wearing it with a pair of simple black loafers. And now I can pass as one of the Olsen twins, but a third one, if that makes any sense. And last but not least, my good old black sweater dress that I always end up wearing when I don't feel like getting dressed. Here, I'm really not impersonating anyone, I'm just myself, a lazy person who only wears black. And yeah, wearing a month of outfits in one day makes me realize that I am old and tired, so I need to lie down for two years. <laughs>